So growing up, I was always told about these different learning styles that were supposed to describe how you and I learn, with some common examples including visual and auditory learning. <laughs> and so for years, I tried to analyze what I did well, what I didn't, and I just kind of held on to whatever I found out about myself. For example, things made more sense to me with decent illustrations, so I thought I was a visual learner. While it was nice to know my strengths, I grew frustrated in courses that didn't cater to this, and part of me felt like it was just who I was. After doing a little bit of research, I found out the idea of rigid learning styles doesn't actually have much to back it, and is referred to by psychologist Scott Barry Kaufman as neuromythology. Rather than focusing on what you think you aren't good at, you should try and engage with your work regardless of how it's presented. This can mean asking questions during a live video call, or it could be pausing before examples and attempting it before your instructor shows you how. I also found out that verbalizing what I was learning helped immensely, so try talking to roommates or family about subjects as if they knew what you were talking about. Or your cat, if no one's around. Anyways, the point is to not limit yourself to what you think you're good at when it comes to school. Try different things, and most importantly, engage with your work.